Hey there, it's Dusty Thunder again with another AITA story for you. This one is Am I the Askinaut for having my niece's dress photoshopped because she wore white to my wedding? So I, 30 female, got married. Yay! Honestly, it was my dream wedding. Everything went off without a hitch, except for one small thing. My niece's 16 dress. It was a white, lacy, knee-length dress. She even wore lace elbow-length gloves. Honestly, it looked just like a wedding dress. I didn't say anything to her or her parents, my brother and sister-in-law, at the moment, and I tried my best to ignore it. But when I got the first drafts back from our photographer, I couldn't stand when I saw her in her white dress standing next to me. My husband saw how upset I was and suggested that we pay extra to get my niece's dress photoshopped to a light blue. We thought it through, and since we had some budget left, we went for it. Well, last week, we got the final photos back and they looked great. I could hardly even tell that my niece was originally wearing white and she still looked really nice. I posted some of the photos on social media and my sister-in-law messaged me and was angry that I photoshopped my niece without checking with her, my sister-in-law, first. She accused me of thinking my niece was ugly and of body shaming her. To be clear, I did not have her body photoshopped, only the color of her dress and gloves. I don't think I'm in the wrong, but the situation has been stressing me out, so am I the asshole? Edit, small clarification, the picture I posted was a large group shot that my niece is in. I wasn't trying to showcase the photoshop at all. Candy Thunder included a couple of the top comments for us here. Number one, sister-in-law is ticked. She's probably the one who helped pick the dress and gloves out and encouraged this. Niece may not know. Doubtful at her age in 2023, but sister-in-law did. Number two, in response to comment above, exactly this. Sister-in-law knew that she couldn't wear a white dress to upstage OP without getting side eyes, so she had her 16-year-old daughter wear it so they could plead ignorance. She knows exactly why her daughter's dress was photoshopped, and she's going to pretend like she thinks it was her daughter who was photoshopped so that she can pick the fight she always wanted. Wow. Is that how people's brains operate? I really want to wear white to the wedding, but I can't. But my girl can. My 16-year-old girl. Hmm. Yes, it's a brilliant plan. I'll have her wear white lazy things and we'll send her to the wedding. There's no way they'll ever bitch about that. Hmm. <laughs> What the f is wrong with people, bro? What is wrong with people? Why is this even a thing? Why was this? Why? 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 Sorry, that was loud. But why? Come on. Why? Also, yeah, it's their freaking pictures. They paid for it. It's their wedding. They can do whatever the hell they want. They can put a freaking clown costume on everyone in that picture and no one can say a damn thing. They might, but it's their picture. They paid for it. Turning it into body shaming and saying that she was ugly was really taking the full-time victim role, just gung ho in it there and just basically saying, I'm going to use whatever I can use to try to victimize myself here and make you seem like the asshole. Even though it was my maniacal plot here to have her wear the white dress. Mm. It's common knowledge not to wear a white dress unless you're the bride. Right. It's common knowledge not to do that. And if you do, come what may. So either this was something maniacal that she did intentionally with malice or it was ignorance. But either way, it doesn't matter. She has the right to Photoshop whatever the F she wants to Photoshop. And she didn't even Photoshop the texture of the dress. It was just the tint, the color. I'm a photographer. I know what she did. I know how the photographer did it right now. And it's it's an easy thing to do. It's not that big of a deal. It doesn't require altering the appearance or shape of anything. It is simply coloring, simply changing the color. I don't get it. I don't get how they try to sabotage sabotage i'd like to take this moment to uh to talk about some of the new swag we have available here uh this is not a final final design but it is available for sale right now it's words are hard seems timely doesn't it okay we'll go back to this good gravy i do not understand how how people can be just backstabbing to each other okay it was mary beth when women want to be evil conniving biatches, they can outdo the devil himself. I just don't get it. I don't. Why? Why? Okay. There are so many more things that if I had the time and energy to do in a day, I would do just to think that someone would spend time and energy doing that on purpose blows my mind. I just don't understand it. I don't understand it at all. Like what to what end? What is she hoping to accomplish here? Just pulling one over on someone and that's the ultimate goal of the day. Woohoo! <laughs> Get a f***ing life! Ah! I just don't understand. I feel for you ladies, I do, because I just, I don't, I don't get it. And if I had to live in a world where that shit was going on all the time, I would lose my effing mind. I would absolutely lose my mind. I will never get it. I will never, ever, 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 ever get it or condone it or be okay with it. I will fight it tooth and nail, but I also don't see it. And... Candy Thunder's really good about pointing out when that kind of shit is going on whenever I'm just oblivious to it. She's like, here's what's happening. I'm like, why? Why can't people just be happy for each other?
Why are people so broken?